Hey, what's up guys? Today I actually just wanted to do a um, how-to video on how to refill the V2 carts or pretty much any other cart. I know there's a few out there, but um, I actually had somebody ask me if I could make a video of how to do it, so um, I figured why not. Um, first you're going to need, obviously, your empty cart that you need to refill. Um, a small little screwdriver or something that you can fit inside of the mouthpiece, the little white part on here. Um, one of the uh, cart condoms that uh, don't have the little thing poking up, just the, the flat one. You can see inside there. And you're going to need your e fluid. And you're probably going to need a napkin or something too. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your empty cart and you're going to take the screwdriver and you're going to put it inside of the little mouth hole like that and just pull it up and it'll pop pop up take that off and then you're going to take your little cart condom thing right here and I mean if you want you can just drip the fluid right into this end too after you take the mouthpiece off, I find you can fit more in and it works a lot easier if you do it this way though that I'm about to show you. Um, I mean for the V2 carts, I usually put about 20 drops. Actually, you can, if it's completely empty, you can actually probably fit 25 in there. Um, and basically what you do is you have your thing about halfway to three quarters of the way full of fluid and what you're going to do is you take the part of the battery I mean the part of the card that connects to the battery you can put it face down into the card and very slowly you're going to want to push up you want to do it slowly so it soaks all into the uh, filler though. And eventually you'll see some spread out the top. There's a little straw like thing in there. <coughs> but I usually do it till it comes out of that a little bit. I don't know if you can see it start to squirt out or not. See? And I let it fill the top of it. Well not fill it but get the cotton nice and wet. A little the filler. And now you're going to pull it out. You're going to have a little bit extra in here. Some people just throw that out or wipe it out with a paper towel. What I like to do is take it and pinch it and get a couple extra drops that are in there into the car. I don't really like to let much go to waste. So I might grab it and pinch it a couple times and try to fill it up. And now the next thing I do to make sure that it's that nothing's blocking the uh, airway or anything, I kind of wipe off the end a little bit, the battery end. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of liquid in there, which isn't very pleasant. I suppose you could probably blow out a little bit too. Just get the little bit of liquid that's in that little straw part out, because you don't want to be inhaling that. Um, and then what I do is the battery end, I will kind of just wipe out, try to make it nice and dry, get all the extra fluid out, because I don't really want to connect that to my battery with having a bunch of e-juice on it. Sometimes I even uh, twirl up the end of it like that and try to stick it in the little hole a little bit, just to, I don't know if it really does anything, but try to get some of the fl fluid out from uh, being in the way of the air. And there we go, I can get a nice pull on it now. And then what you're going to want to do is take this piece, little mouthpiece, and put it right back on. Just like that. 
wipe it off make sure all the liquids off because you really don't want it going on your battery like I said before wipe it off so you don't get your fingers all greasy and then screw it back on and there you go and like I said if I mean I reuse these things too so uh, I'll try to get the liquid out of here too and I've said in another video what I do too with uh, the car condoms that I'm going to use to uh, refill I usually wipe out make sure I get all the fluid out of there so it's not all wet and if I'm using my e-cig I usually just stick it on the end of it my girlfriend actually thought about doing that so I don't lose it because I lost a bunch of these when I first got my e-cig and then when I'm not using it if it's whole I uh, just put it on the end to kind of keep the uh, e-liquid from evaporating out if it's hot out or leaking out or anything like that so that's pretty much it um, if you like this please subscribe or comment leave a message if you have any questions and uh, that's about it thank you very much